This time we'll be playing black, and this is a little, a little bit tricky position. This position happened uh, in my bullet game, so it was a one-minute game actually. So it was I was playing just for fun in the internet, and into this position white found. I mean, a move queen takes to f5, which looks really, really impressive. White is sacrificing the queen, and it has a lot of sense. White is ready to either capture the queen or to play queen to h7. And if black tries to capture the queen, then white would play rook to d8. But, again, when you're playing the game, you need to keep in mind the rule, offense is the best defense. And if you keep this in mind, you will very easily find the refutation. And I see that most of the students have found it successfully, and that's the move rook to e1, that's correct. This is the only way to survive, and not only to survive, but to win the game. Win the game on the spot, straight away, here why it just resigned. Again, you would find this move easily if you have the right focus. If you have the focus on founding counter-attacking ideas, and if you keep in mind the idea that offense is the best defense. Although here it seems like a completely sudden tactical shot, in reality the idea is still very common. The point is that when you are starting your own attack, you are deflecting your opponent from his plans. This is what's happening, and that's why the counter-attack is very often successful. In this example it's still the same, although black is using the tactical way, but the strategic idea is still the same. Black is deflecting white from his plans. White was going to use the back rank weakness along the d-file, and currently black is deflecting white rook from that square. After rook takes e1, black would simply play, queen takes f5, and black is ahead in material, and of course he's winning. Well, white can try the last joke, maybe he can try rook takes c5, if black inaccurately captures the pawn, white will play knight to f7 check, but of course black doesn't have to fall into this trap, instead he can simply play any move of his queen, basically, anyone is good. Uh, Queen b1 is the best, that's right. Okay, so this was the tactical example, but mainly I'd like you to focus on the general idea. The general idea that you always need to keep in mind the attacking moves.